Hello there. Welcome to today's Talk of the Town. Today is the 14th of October and these are some of your lead stories. And the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic here in Sri Lanka continues with 130 patients reported over the course of the day so far. Out of the 130 patients that tested, neg tested positive rather during the course of their PCR tests, only 10 have been reported from quarantine centres while all of them are close contacts. Now in addition, a quarantine curfew has been imposed on the Katunayaka Police Division starting at 5 a.m. tomorrow. It has also been noted that workers at the export zone can continue to travel through the area and to the area using their national identity cards as a curfew pass. Now, former Minister Richard Badiodi, who has now a warrant issued against him, is currently not to be found with multiple teams searching his residences here in Colombo as well as his residence in Mana. Now the former minister has disappeared but the police have been able to arrest a number of close associates. This includes his accountant as well as two drivers, two vehicles as well as a police constable attached to his security detail and in the process they have also managed to confiscate weapons and ammunition with regard to that as well. We will be updating you on the very latest with the story surrounding the arrest of the former minister following the updates that we received from the police. Now, the arrival of containers of garbage created quite a stir in Sri Lanka and after a long drawn legal proceeding, the Central Environment Authority has been ordered by the Court of Appeal to go on to return all 242 containers to the port of origin. Now, in addition to this requirement to return these respective containers to the port of origin, there is also a declaration by the Court of Appeal that steps be taken to institute legal action against all those responsible for the situation that did take place. Well, that's a wrap of your talk of the town for today. Don't forget, you can also check us out on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to stay updated on the very latest. And if you missed any of our stories from here at home or around the world over the course of today, you can also check out our award-winning website, www.newsfest.lk. I've been Deshan Gonola for the Newsfest team. Have a good one. God bless.